So by now you will have rendered your comp um, and now we want to just convert it to ProRes. So what I recommend doing is just going to file, oh, and you should save at this point if you haven't, but um, you'll want to create a new composition. And in that composition, if you just create a loader once more and load in the um, TGAs we wrote out in the last lesson and just click this here, this um, square button here to increase the, uh, to have a single viewport, uh, drag your renders in you can see we've got our render and converting to ProRes is very simple if we create a saver node oh I haven't actually let's go back to color tab saver and if we change our file extension from our TGA and we don't need the the, the, the numbers so if we change that to MOV so And press enter you'll see that the saver has changed now we have all these different options we have with the saver if you go to the second from the end the format button you get these options so your compression type you get to choose all of your different um, codec types so in this instance because we were going to be saving as ProRes we want to ch ch uh, change it to ProRes 422 and uh, then we can choose our frame rate so in this case I was preparing this as a 24 frames per second shot so depending on how this is going to be on your timeline really it's up to you but um, I'm going to go for 24 frames a second and it really is as simple as that um, if you wanted a different format you could you know you've got DNX HD or H.264 um, ProRes is just a good format for uh, editors so uh, it's, it's quite a um, useful to have this infusion really um, and then once more we're going to render and put in our frame range again and press start render and it should be a really quick render actually because it's just encoding these frames and there we have it so let's take a look at our final um, render so here we have it the final render now as I said before um, it would have been nice to increase our sub sub D's because we've got a little bit of this kind of artifacting here but um, yeah it's looking good actually so we've got a lot of detail um, and you could adapt this you know perhaps it would be nice to have a uh, some kind of focal point here maybe something flying over or you could have some extra atmospheric smoke in the foreground just to give us a little bit more motion but this is a really good starting point for creating an environment scene.